We are live, Monica. Ah, ciao, Omar. Oh, che bello rivederti. Ciao a tutti. Mm. Hello to everybody. Hello, ciao, Monica. Come stai? How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. And you, Omar? I'm yes. very happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> Very good. Very happy to be with you again live with yes, Amanda, live together with Monica Paruta and all our friends. So welcome yes. to everyone. The people so are from here. now on we are Stamperia Live. Okay, great. So remember friends, Stamperia Live. <laughs> Stamperia Live. And uh, waiting for our, our friends Monica, let me see what is going on on the Stamperia Live week. So uh -huh. yesterday we did the pizza, yesterday, and we have Giovanni, Nelly, and Lynette in an amazing live. Today we are live with 3D passion rice paper. We will use the passion rice paper and we will make something amazing with Monica. Love. Papel de arroz. Oil. And tomorrow, message from the sea. Radovan Kianica, and he will make a beautiful uh, bottle. So let's say together. Then on Thursday, gold leaf on acetate, Belinda and Dewitt. And Friday, mira, vamos a la playa. Sara Alcobendas, mira lo que tenemos aquí por detrás. Vamos a imitar este paisaje marino. We will make this beautiful sea landscape with Sara Alcobendas. And then, ta -da -da, in Italiano, Sabato, Monica e Donatella. Live. I have to change the flag. So, <laughs> Sarà in italiano and oh, in, yes. in, in English, you know, Monica speaks 20,000 million of languages. <laughs> so, <laughs> it will be another battle live. Saludos, oh. hello, ciao a tutti. Many yeah. friends are ready live. Great. Yeah. I was just Monica looking through the, to the week and mira how many beautiful friends. Hello, Cindy. Ciao oh, CD, hello CD, hello Elena, ciao Filomena, ciao Santi Patti, Elena, Cristina, wow, wow, Isabella, Hilda, Anna, Jill, wow, 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 wow. Blanche, Len, Agnieszka, hello Filomena, hello Cindy, hello Grazie Cindy, thank you so much. Yeah, we change a little bit the graphic. Now we have live every day, as usual, from uh, Monday to Saturday, 3 p.m. local time. And yes, we have new graphics. So, hello, Portugal. Bon dia, bon dia. Hello, yeah. Netherlands. <laughs> but, Monica. Hi, Monica. So, today we will play with rice paper and 3D. But, 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 a bird, un uccellino mi ha detto qualcosa. Thank you so so, oh, sal, I don't know. I want to hear. <laughs> First of all, I see something behind you that is very shiny, beautiful. And, you know, I would like to touch and see. What, what is that, Monica? Please show me. Yeah. Oh, this is my new uh, masterclass uh, video lesson. So, here it is, the, the Raku. Hello, Marisol. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is the Raku style. So it's a new technique with the, the last products uh, like the Alcolinx and uh, to imitate uh, Raku. You know, Raku is made uh, with uh, special ovens and very particular technique. But this is something that uh, I called like this because it looks like <laughs> in certain ways. And with this technique, you can make many things. So you can restyle, for example, objects. Also, you know, I like jewels as well. So oh yes, it is made with the same technique. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Monica, many many news. Also, in two weeks, you will be live uh, with a special guest to make jewels. So. Jewel of Monica are coming. Stay tuned and yes. just to, to know. But let's stay on the on the Raku technique because you know, <laughs> many new things. This is a bowl, very big bowl you can use actually. It was in uh, plastic and completely remade um, with this technique. <laughs> yes, uh, 
this is really something I thought for you. And uh, it's still available, the uh, video lesson. So you can uh, write to me or go to the e-academy and uh, find the video lesson or subscribe and roll for a lesson together. So do yeah, you think, yeah. Omar, we can show them maybe um, an introduction, an oh, intro for it? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Let me find out. I have the video here for you. Sono Monica Paruta e vi presento il mio nuovo video tutorial Raku Style, una tecnica nuova che imita la tecnica del Raku classica delle ceramiche ma fatta con altri materiali. Per realizzare una ciotola come questa, ma con la stessa tecnica, potrete realizzare anche delle tele e dei gioielli. Le spiegazioni sono in italiano, in inglese e in spagnolo. Hello, this is Monica Paruta and this is my new video tutorial, Raku Style, a new technique which imitates uh, the classical uh, technique for Raku uh, in order to make uh, a bowl like this one. And with the same technique you can make also canvases uh, or jewels with explanations in Italian, English and Spanish. Hola, soy Monica Paruta. Esto es mi nuevo video tutorial para hacer la técnica, imitación de la técnica del raco, para hacer un cuenco como esto. Con la misma técnica pueden hacer también lienzos y joyas como estos. Las explicaciones serán en italiano, inglés y español. Hasta luego. <laughs> With my sort of Spanish, I can explain also in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. And we have many comments. Some someone already did the course and say it's it's amazing. Letizia, love Papa Moto Man. So if you are interested in this course, you can ask for a personal masterclass with Monica and you can contact her directly or go to the e Academy and uh, subscribe the course. You will find the videos and you can follow the videos and the video once it's yours you can watch and do it many times you want you find all the list of materials and anyway monica is always here to help you so if you have any trouble question please post monica um, also, they are asking who won the pizza box yesterday and it was ingrid back so congratulations to the winner of yesterday and Remember, share and like the video of Stamperia. You, you can be the next winner on Monday of the next pizza box. So, there we go. Great. So, remember, condividete il video, mica anche italiane. Condividete, potete vincere la pizza box. <laughs> so, share the video, share the video. <laughs> yeah. Hello, okay. Jean. So, let's start. Vamos, empezamos, arrancamos, let's start. Hello, Samantha. Hello. Hello, Samantha. Hi. <laughs> Good. So, what are we going to see today, uh, this afternoon? So, 
today we are going to see something with um, with the rice paper and passion a range of uh, um, papers um, one idea is this one so this is made with that scrapbooking paper scrapbooking paper hardened with the, the glossy finish and then displayed on cardboard with this effect of wood but now we are going to make something else <laughs> so the subject is still the, the shoes for dancing but it will made in a different way so the technique we will find out together step by step from now on so this is only an idea you can make on your own <laughs> with no problems because i know that you are so good you uh, you show so many beautiful things on Staperia website and i uh, sometimes i really astonished <laughs> hello german <laughs> but today we are going to use this rice paper and not only but also the molds so the molds of passion it is this one and let's see i changed the camera and ciao ciao Giada. <laughs> and let's see together step by step what we are going to do so i changed the camera and yes. omar you will follow me da, 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 da. here i am so Ecco, Claudia, video condiviso anche in Italia. Bene, un po' una bella pizza. Speriamo la prossima che vada in Italia. <laughs> grazie, grazie. Allora, so, um, actually, I raised the audio because I don't hear you well. Okay, now it's raised. So, I've already prepared some molds. Um, and, uh, for example, here it is. Uh, you see the shoes. Uh, this is the... Uh, I have uh, made it very recently, so it is still a little bit grayish because uh, it will get uh, very white once it is completely dry. You see the difference. <laughs> so it is still a little bit wet and this is dry. So uh, what do you think, Omar? Shall we also uh, show how to make the mold or do you think all our friends are already good experts and no need about that? What do you think? Entonces, ¿queréis cómo se hacen también los moldes con el pulvo, pulvo, ceram, pulvo cerámico? ¿Verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Esta es la ceramic powder. So, I think uh, it's always, uh, maybe there is some beginners. I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I'm quite sure not. Ciao, Vincenza. Bonjour, Vincenza. Ciao, Mara. <laughs> Carissimo. <laughs> but I think we can show it. So okay. Quick. So, let's go. So it is a maxi mold of passion okay. range. Father wants to know. So let's go and see. Okay. Vamos a vedere la tecnica base de los moldes. Okay. It's so easy to make so no maybe no need but i show you anyway so this is the ceramic powder i love pierogi okay and vodka so let's take uh, now uh scissors to open it and uh, I take a bowl. Normally, I take something like this, uh, which is in gum, and uh, you can um, wash it at the end. So, no need of using anything else. Uh, no, I can open it uh, without cutting because these are new ones. Okay. Um, good evening, Monica and Omar from Australia. Share. Um, wow, Australia. Good night, Australia. <laughs> And good morning, Canada. So, One. abbiamo una domanda. Question, sì. pregunta. Cos'è meglio usare con quello stampo? Fimo light, ceramica, paste o altro? Allora, for this mold you can use many things. For example, soft clay, ceramic powders, but you can also use, you know, you can also use soap to make uh, 
soaps, perfumed soaps. <laughs> also, you can also use, you know what? Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate. I don't know if it is now actually, yes, it's not uh, for chocolate. Uh, it's not really proved for this, but I need. <laughs> if you clean it well, no problem. Okay. So. Okay. intanto abbiamo Grazia ciao Grazia ti aspettiamo hey, ciao, ciao. live con i tuoi gioielli eh? we will have Grazia live together with Monica and you make sure e abbiamo Matteo ciao Matteo e lo bocca tu oh yes <laughs> we too <laughs> okay. e poi abbiamo Tiziana che dice ciao sono nuova la spiegazione non c'è in italiano Tiziana qua siamo una babella abbiamo le italiane la se spagnola the English uh, American so Uh, proviamo un po' a coprire tutte le lingue, più o meno, ok? Ok, so, Vamos. ceramic powder, normally the quantity, um, the quantity is normally the double of the quantity of the mold, so if you really want to, to make this uh, only, you fill it twice, Two times, due volte questa quantità, lo mettete nella bowl, nel contenitore, aggiungete acqua. So we add water with the double of the quantity of powder. And water, how much water? I, I never measure it. I pour it, I stir, and I try to get something like... Uh, more or less the yogurt, but a little bit more liquid than the yogurt. So you mix it like this. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, so you see, this is like a cream. Like a for a, for, for a um, molde, I can. Eh, usare il doble di de pulvo di quello che contiene il molde mismo e usare acqua antes che se así che se addensa así come yogurt come dice Monica si sì. <ride> e sta listo e sta listo ready and we are ready ok into the mold like this I try to fill the mold And so I don't know if you noticed how much uh, spoons I put here. They were five spoons, teaspoons of, of powder to make this one. Because now I know because I tried. But if you don't know, because it's the first time, just measure the double of the quantity. Intanto abbiamo Crystal. Hola Crystal, che tal? Marta, Marta, Hola, Jenny. Once you made this, I suggest you to do this. Um, look, with the, your fingers, you do this in order to make the bubbles come up. Oh. And it self levels. Is a auto nivello. <laughs> okay, and now it's ready. Mm? Okay, grazie Monica. Okay. Sempre importante ricordare anche alcuni consigli base come questo, come non sprecare, ad esempio, la polvere ceramica, calcolare perfettamente quanta ne va dentro il mold. Esatto. Allora, quando when you are ready with your mold, okay, like this one. Uh, this is a different technique, so it is a new technique because um, actually uh, you have this size and you have this shape, but you can also make bigger. And how can you make bigger shoes? So first of all, you need a spatula. And uh, I cut it out like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <I'm sorry. laughs> Okay, and I have this ribbon aside. Oh, it's a pleasure for Farrell. <laughs> so, and then I take this also. I cut it like this. 
<laughs> Why do I make this? I'm scary, Monica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that I like surprises. <laughs> I never make what I <laughs> what I show you at the beginning. There is something all the Germany, time. Germany, uh, how long does it take to drive? Quanto tempo va in ese car el tubo ceramico? Ceramico, Monica? Uh, it depends on the quantity and thickness of the mold. If it is a small mold, uh, also in 10 minutes it can be ready. For a mold like this one, you need at least 30, 40 minutes. Okay? So you then you take it upside down. Then at, uh, before the end of the, of the lesson, we can take it out. You will see it. Okay. So, so it's not hour. if you wait longer it depends on also if you have some uh, um i mean there is some uh, um, uh, mm, 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 some uh, um, the temperature is warm or not okay yes. humidity in weather i take out also the ribbon here <laughs> okay i take out the ribbon and I level my shoes because I want to make bigger shoes, but I need the shape. So I need this shape. And okay. I also need the other one. Even okay. if I miss a part, it doesn't matter. We will fill the blanks. Okay. Of course, I'm eager to see what's what we <laughs> yeah, because curious. Something new. Well, algo de nuevo. Vamos. Because the molds are interesting to be colored, of course, but not only. Sometimes we only need for the shape. This yeah. time I need the shape of the shoes and the shape of the ribbon. Okay. But I go on and I will do something different. Very interesting as always. Very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> what a minute. Let's see. So now you need to cover this. You need to cover this um, with uh, what? With, uh, for example, some gays uh, like these ones, mm -hmm. fabrics, uh, rice paper, plain rice paper, or I have some cotton paper, which is a little bit uh, um, thicker, which is thicker, mm -hmm. and it will be um, a little bit quicker to cover. But if you have also rice paper, you can cover your shape many times, as many times as you need to make a bigger size. So let's, uh, uh, for example, I have prepared some stripes of this uh, cotton gazed paper. It's this lesson good. seems to be very, very interesting, Monica. Thanks so much. I like to discover <laughs> new way. <laughs> so I cut out uh, a little bit bigger than the shape of the shoe, like this. At least uh, we need the three or four times also for these ones. Okay. It depends on uh, how big you want them. Then I take uh, some mixed media glue this time oh. i need it because it will be useful to harden also the shoes so the paper of the shoes Ahora vamos a usar la mix media glue porque monica necesita que la el pegamento va a endurecer el papel quindi usiamo la mix media glue perché è la migliore in questo caso perché alla fine eh, indurirà la carta exactly. Now I need a flat. Come si chiama il papel che sta usando Monica? It is called cotton paper, but you can use uh, uh, any uh, paper you want, also fabric, also gaze. Whatever. In español, como, como, como sería in español, Monica? Eh, I don't know. Papel, I don't know. <laughs> Come sempre. Pidemo ayuda del público. Mira. <laughs> in español, Blanche, por favor. <laughs> so now some water on my brush to make the paper softer and let's go on with the, the glue on the paper on both sides okay i take it out try to be tidy 
because I have so many things around. Okay, so mixed media glue. Mm -hmm. And now I take the shoe. Mira, dicen papel de algodón. Cotton ah. paper, así como se, como se trae. Como se tra dice normalmente. Normalmente. Mm -hmm. okay. Glue here, and I cover my shoe, okay? Make it to adhere, okay, like this. Mm. Mm. Ahora entiendo lo que va a hacer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now I understand what you're going to do and why you, you destroy the mold, okay. <laughs> I destroyed, but I mend it. <laughs> Crystal, se pregunta, ¿es un papel de estampería? No, no, es un papel que se puede encontrar en la... Es un papel de estampería, porque antes uh, era un papel de estampería. <laughs> Or maybe you were not even in estampería 20 years ago. <laughs> not, not 20, but I think it's something that goes back to 2003, 4, something like that. <laughs> But uh, as you see, Omar, I never throw anything away. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> Tati dice, gracias, Blanche, por la traducción. Y también, otra vez te digo, muchas gracias por siempre este increíble trabajo de, uh, de Blanche y Vincenzo anche. Eh, Vincenzo. Eh, traduciendo y francese. Quindi, un bacione a tutti e due. Un bacio. <laughs> e ora, and now I go on with the steps. So, I can put more to make bigger as much as you want. Uh -huh. Layer by layer. Vamos, capa, de, capa después de capa, vamos a añadir un grosso a, la, a, las, a las zapatillas. Mira, vamos a grandir el zapato. También este, also this one, it's the same technique. So I wet the paper, both sides, uh, with water first, uh, but then with mi mixed media glue. Also here, mixed media glue. Agua, and pegamento, <coughs> agua y cola. Sí, en la mixed media glue. Y también aquí puedo hacer un poco más la forma del zapato. Mira, Catherine dice, es como las zapaterías forran con tela los zapatos de novia. Esa es como una, la técnica original. Ah, oh, muy bien. Ok, so I go on and go on, because afterwards I will overlay the shoe. Shoes like this, ok. And I will do the same also for the ribbon. But the ribbon... I would like also to keep uh, the two, two laces. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, I will do something like this. I will cover the ribbon. And then, oh, sorry, just first here. Otherwise, it's too hard. And then I cover the ribbon as well. And So I soften the paper with the water and the glue, and then it can adhere. Because this, I will keep them longer. Mm -hmm. Such an interesting technique, Irena. I'm agree with you. I want to see where we are going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, of course, this you go on till uh, you like uh, uh, the size uh, that you are getting. Of course, I prepared already Uh, dried because we don't have so much time, but I think you understood uh, what... But, the... Monica, tengo un, una duda. Tengo, uh, I have a question. Uh, now, when you <clears throat> when you have the side, how big you want, so, cuando está contenta con el grosor que tiene, you let it dry or you dry with a dryer? No, I let it dry because the, it's quite long to dry because you have so many layers of paper and Uh, they are so wet uh, that it will be a little bit longer to dry with hair dryer. I made them and I let them dry. So this is dried, uh, you see. This was dried already. Okay. And so I take, this is my two shoes that I have here. 
so, no. Ah. Mira, ecco, guarda, guarda la Giorgia cosa ti dice, che te lo, quello che ti dico sempre io, quindi io e la Giorgia abbiamo la stessa idea. Ah, Mira il coperto. Abbiamo Grazie. usato la Mix Media Glue. Brava Giorgia, hai ragione, è la Mix Media Glue che è una colla ma è anche un indurente per carta e tessuti. Okay? Non lo dimenticare, lo, lo ricordo sempre perché è utile saperlo. Ok, adesso, now I have my shoes and also my ribbon here ready. You see with the uh, mixed media glue, this is hard. You see? Now this is hard. So, now. <laughs> okay, perdona. Uh, I laugh sometimes because I'm reading the comment. <laughs> Chris. Uh <-huh. laughs> Te quiero. Te quiero, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Como una cervecita fría. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It would be a good idea now. Okay, now I take a canvas, this size of canvas, which is 24 per 30. Four or 30, right? 30, yes. 24 per 30, 30. I open it, take away everything. Hola, Flora, tiene razón. Hola, Monica, tu creación son Gracias. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias. Ahora, vamos a poner aquí el papel de arroz. So now I'm going to use, but you see, this is the canvas. Ah, reverse canvas. Mira, esto ya lo tenemos, porque es una técnica que Mónica usa y se me encanta. Eh, de usar el revés de la, del lienzo, del canvas. Because the the we already have the frame, the frame ready. The frame ready. <laughs> now I'm taking this rice paper. This rice paper code is DFSA4539. 4539. Okay. Rice paper. And it's from the fashion collection of my lovely friend Dorota. This is Dorota. Hi, hello, Dorota. Let's take this part with the rose down. It is quite the size of this, but not exactly. Anyway, I will use the mix media view again with water on oh, my... Monica, mouth. Monica, perdona me, sorry. Before yeah. you start, I know that Maybe everyone know what is a rice paper, but we have the chance now to show and uh, close the camera and to explain a little bit for who doesn't know what is it a rice paper to uh, explain it by you. Okay. Yes, because rice paper I love for many things. So now to cover here and to perfectly adhere to the surface, rice yes. paper is quite thin, so you can adapt to every surface, also round surfaces or waved surfaces. It's very, very thin, but uh, um, nevertheless, the colors will be very well visible if the surface is uh, clear, is white, or like in this case, it's ivory, the surface. It will be good to see well the colors. If you have a black surface, you hardly ever, uh, hardly see anything on your drawings. So it's better to have a light, light surface. So, and Monica okay. is una maestra de lo rice paper, is the <laughs> master <laughs> of rice paper. Um, Remember this word. I <laughs> didn't know, but okay. <laughs> Glue and water, because it's very porous, the surface. So. Uh, it will uh, soften ma more the paper if the surface is a little bit wet. Okay. And uh, 
the water will be useful to um, to uh, enhance uh, the time of dryness of the glue. So first this, then this. Ilomena dice, si può utilizzare anche una vecchia tela? Certamente, vecchia mm -hmm. tela, double fast. Da un lato avrai qualcosa, dall'altro un'altra. <laughs> Perché no? Sometimes I make this. Uh, I have two things on the same canvas. <laughs> Yes, Belinda. Ciao, Belinda. Yeah. I love the versatility of the wasp. It's amazing. You can use whatever you want, a curved surface, and make many, many things. And combine it with the stone paper. It's amazing. What's important, friends, is not to be afraid to make press well the rice paper. You see how strong I use the brush. Don't be uh, soft like this because you really need to flat the paper. You really need to flat the wrinkles. Well, so. th this is possible with uh, Stamperia rice paper because they are printed very, very well. So you can uh, really stress them. So quality <laughs> is the first thing <laughs> because you see that the colors are still good. So you yeah. don't absolutely uh, change the colors of the paper. Even Ciao if Valentina. Heard. Domanda, question. Dimmi. Uh -huh. uh, wait. Why not colla velo instead of mixed media glue, Monica? Uh, yes, it's possible colla velo as well here. But why not? Yes, yes, here is possible. I'm using mixed media glue because it's also good for white paper and because I have just used that to harden the shoes and the ribbons. So it's the same product So for a question of um, because it's practical. <laughs> bom dia, Brasil. Bom dia, Maria. Bom dia, bom dia. Mm. Oh. So it's always better not to do what I'm doing. So when <laughs> to cut the rice paper when it is dry completely, because you can tear it off as I'm making. But if you uh, cut when it is dried, it will be much easier. Mm -hmm. so, I'm now... Oh, Georgia, guarda, dice, sono disperata. Il mio fornitore ha finito questa bellissima carta di riso. Ok, c'è una soluzione. Share the video. <laughs> Compartire il video. Uh, you can win it. Uh, maybe there is this nice paper inside. Oh, okay. Would be nice. <laughs> so... Of the the range of products, I like uh, all the papers, <laughs> all the rice papers. This is the A size four. You also have uh, the, um, sorry, this is the A4 uh, size. You can also have uh, same drawings in the bigger size, so with the A3 size as well. So Thank you, Jean. It's perfect. Okay. Hello, Monica e Omar. Hello, Valassia e la Re. Hello, hello, Gris. Yeah, how are you, darling? <laughs> yes. And tomorrow we will have Anthony's live at 11 p.m. for surprise. So tomorrow, live 11 p.m. 11 a.m., sorry, in yeah. the morning. In the morning, yeah. In the morning, we will have Anthony, Anthony Sanidakis live. For wow. something new that is coming out in Stamperia Family. And hello, Cristina. Hello. Hello, Cristina Cavallera. Cristina Cavallera, I habla muy bien. Muy bien. Claro, claro que habla muy bien. Monica, hablas todos. De todos. I'm now taking a rice paper to cover my shoes. So now, uh, any rice paper with the subject you like the most. So this is a, a big one with the DFSA 3060, but you can really choose wait, wait, DFSA 3060, but you can use the papers you like the most. Don't worry about it. This one, this one, Monica, is a three or a four? A three. Però non serve tutta, we don't need it all. So I need only small pieces just to cover these parts 
external part of the shoes. Mm. Aside and I cover the shoes. Hola Mila, Mila Correa, bienvenida, ¿qué tal? Nos esperamos por un live, eh, Mila, nos esperamos todos por un live. You know what I'm missing, I'm missing Vilma, it's a long time I don't see her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the, the truth is that she moved in a new house, so uh, she's now uh, coming back to having an internet connection, <laughs> and so she will be active very soon. Okay. Ciao, mamma. Vilma, <laughs> come back, please, Vilma. Please, <laughs> to all the mother in the world right now. <laughs> Thank you to my mother and to all mother of the world. Oh. Viva la mamma. Viva la mamma. Viva la mamma. <laughs> so I'm covering the shoes, you see, with this classic system, with blue. La Giorgia mi dice, è carta di riso fashion anche questa? Mi sembra no. di no, Monica, no, vero? No, no, no. Questa, this is one old one, old, not oh. so old, I mean, uh, one year ago, more or less. It's not new, but I liked uh, the color because it's a soft color and it will be um, adaptable to mm. the papers uh, that I... Girami il tappo, Monica, vai. <laughs> <laughs> mix media glue. We are using mix media glue right now. Constance, I love rice paper. Me too, Constance. I'm in love with rice paper. Because I love to reuse many, many the, the object. So rice paper is perfect to fold stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm quite finished to cover the first shoe. Yes. Always using water, siempre con agua. Agua y pegamento. Un poquito de agua, un poquito, porque claro. la superficie está rosa. Ok. Mm -hmm. Let's Cristian, see. viva ah. cada madre, cada madre del mundo. I'm covering the other one now. So, okay. water, glue first. Hello, and paper. Um, paper. If you have any question, please type in the I'm comment. I'm ready <laughs> to answer. Hope oh, so. <laughs> okay. Also here as well. Okay. And now here. I think I'm quite finished. Even if this second shoe is a little bit, will be hidden by the first one, but a little bit we will yeah. see it. Okay, if we put like this, so I don't see it all, just a little bit. Okay, okay. And now I do this. And now I need to dry, Omar. I need to dry all of this. So, uh, no, first, uh, because, because I will dry everything together. So it will not be. So you see how much you are, you have left of the paper. So yes. any small piece of rice paper will be good for your shoes. Uh, but this I will use, of course, many other times. Uh, here, I need before some... Uh, some paste to cover this the frame, to cover the frame. So I'm now putting aside the mixed media glue because I will not use it anymore. And I'm going to use some, um, some paste. For example, what about glamour paste pink? Okay. Sometimes we don't use it. So let's use a little bit of this for the frame. With the spatula. Allora, Vincenza, guarda, ti dice, Monica, hai coperto le scarpe con la carta di cotone per avere una buona aderenza per la carta di riso, altrimenti era per La carta di riso? No. no. Eh, per creare più volume, quindi per creare una scarpina più grande e meno effetto liscio, cioè volevo qualcosa di più... Eh, 
vero, <ride> il gesto è troppo liscio, era un po' troppo finto in questo caso, volevo qualcosa che assomigliasse veramente a una scarpetta di tessuto. So I used before the uh, cotton paper to create a something like a real shoe, so not in cluster, um, but something more uh, closer to a real shoe and bigger shoe. So I also made it a little bit bigger, more in proportion with the canvas. Sandra is putting heart, so I invite you to put some heart here. Oh, many hearts, lots of hearts. Oh, oh, many hearts. hearts. Lluvia de corazón, empezamos ya porque la técnica es brutal. Te enseño a manejar como usar de forma totalmente distinta y nueva un molde. Muchas gracias, maestra. <laughs> Wow. Mira la, la Gio Giorgia, io ti ass assunta, Giorgia è assunta a San Periode. We have a new oh, employee in San Periode, it's la Giorgia, now on she's working here during the live of San Periode, the <laughs> member of Monica. <laughs> Brava Giorgia. Oh, sì. Giorgia. Grazie Giorgia, grazie. grazie. Le cose importanti. Sì. Sai, quando poi si fanno le cose veloci, si dimenticano le cose magari più importanti. Ok, so this is glamour paste ancient pink. And I cover it. A little bit. My goodness. Ok, so this will be the frame. This glamour paste we have in many, many colors. Many colors. I mean, we have many colors. It is a special paste, water-based, very safe smell good and uh, with this beautiful tiny and very fashion glitter effect that is not vulgar at all but it's very nice and this is the ancient pink so even from the name sounds amazing yes and it's shiny and uh, you can put on every surface it will adhere to any surface also on glass on on metal wherever you like The color is ancient pink. Ancient pink. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, dry a little bit everything. So. Mira la crystal che da cosa un corazon come un arco iris de corazon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Omar, I go to dry. I leave you with our friends for it. Okay, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here, let me see, let me see, let me see, yes, Kim, exactly, the, the paste dry very quickly, the glamour paste, is one of the advantage of the glamour paste, la uh, glamour paste va a secar muy, muy rápido, lo que ahora va secando Monica es el papel de arroz y también la flor, zapatos de danza. Okay, yeah, let's go as I keep Blanche, thank you. Here we have the code of the Glamour Paste Ancient Pink. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Vamos, vamos. Uh, welcome, you're welcome, Kim. Let's wait. Let Monica finish to dry the project. Remember. Tomorrow, live 11 a.m. here, Stamperia, Anthony Sanitak is coming out with something new. Sir Vagabond is going somewhere else. So stay tuned tomorrow, live here. Da -da -da. Cristina, Cristina, ya, Valasia también. Also, Miss our Cristina Radovan. Hello, you, welcome. Uh, if you are just connected now, we are making this amazing project up here today uh, with Monica. We start with the mold and we are learning a new technique, how to use a mold in a very different way. So if you lost the first part, wait to the end of the live and go and watch again. We have all the live always available in Stamperia page. Okay. Vamos, esperamos un rato que Mónica seca. Yeah. Ok, I'm back. Ok. So, now I'm going to take uh, 
brush, like a standardino brush. You remember it is a brush like this one. Okay, a little bit hard. I need a crazy color now, like a white, a crazy color. And uh, I will use it on the surface to whiten a little bit the surface and I have to underline my shoes afterwards. So I need uh, a surface which is not so uh, so colored. So a little bit with a dry brush technique and we try to whiten the surface. Mm -hmm. Very quickly, a very clever way to use the mold mic and can't wait to try this technique. Please do it and tag Monica Paruta, please. Oh, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> please show us what you may, will make with this technique. Okay, Christina, I will go and check your message. Okay, I will go and check. Sorry. I think that you can also try with this. Uh, I think it would be nice uh, to cover with the rice paper, the, mm -hmm. the dancer, and with the layers, uh, many layers here where you have the skirt. I think it would be... I have to still to try. Um, but maybe if you are quicker than me, you will try quicker than me. <laughs> you see, Rose say, I can't wait to see project done with Sir Vagabond in Japan. How you know it? How you know it? <laughs> it should be a secret. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I'm Bonjour de la France. Bonjour, bonjour. This is a stencil I like. And uh, now we make the total stencil. Oh, I like it. <laughs> and we need to find out the code of this stencil. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to find it out. I'm sure you will. I'm going to make this stencil here on this upper part with the white color. And uh, um, yes, I can still go on with this. Uh, white acrylic and i'm going to use it here white half okay on the edge okay. someone found it out mm -hmm. <laughs> does that it not yet yes no no oh. vincenza uh, is uh, um un stencil vecchio stiamo cercando il codice we are looking for the stencil mm -hmm. code meraviglioso merveilleux merveilleux sandalino brush acrylic color white no oh, water yeah. and we have this beautiful effect before we Use a little bit of white to make it a little bit more light in here. And I finish with this and go here. Okay. okay, we have the winner. We have the winner of the we cold game. The <laughs> ha! KSA four five. Uh, party. Party. Wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we have such a beautiful friends. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. This is one. This one. This one is perfect. Uh, KSG459. Thank you, buddy. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. Very useful. Thanks a lot. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready to go to fly to Japan eh, with Anthony <laughs> tomorrow. I also I already have my here samurai. Funny tales. Uh, Anthony's will be in Japan tomorrow. No, no, the collection. Sir Vagabond in the new, ah, okay. new yeah. adventure of Sir Vagabond has begun, and uh -huh. Sir Vagabond is traveling to Japan. Oh, that's yes. very good. We'll see. We'll see. Alda, ciao, Alda. Como está? Muy bien. Are you fine, Alda? Mini, mini, e, e mira la Pepi, eccola, aquí la tenemos la Pepi. Toma que toma, vamos con la lluvia de corazones. Mira. Uh, uh. 
I'm making a sort of curtain here with the stencil. Mm -hmm. This is the name of the stencil. That's your Le Page found. Thank you so much. And now, this part inside, I want to color it. So I will take a little bit of brownish color. Then I want to read to you, Monica, this comment from Tommy. Even with her eyes closed, Monica will oh. do a beautiful project. <laughs> Wow. We can make a test <laughs> one time. Maybe we will live a, a blind live with Monica Paruta. Maybe it could be nice <laughs> to see if it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very kind from your side. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm painting here around the wooden parts with a little bit of um, brownish color and uh, water. Mm -hmm. Agua y un poquito de color. Just to paint inside, did you see? Not to leave uh, the wood uh, color visible so much. Por supuesto, Pepe, que te echaba de menos un montón. Cuál alegría los corazones. Y todo esto siempre, siempre falta cuando no estás aquí. Roberta dice, è magnifico l'uso della glamour paste come cornice. It's amazing the use that you made with the glamour paste for the frame. Absolutely. The glamour paste is beautiful. Very well with the colors of uh, this paper, this ancient pink. Now I'm also painting a little bit the, the um, you see, here inside my shoe little bit around to make a little bit of uh, shadows around yes. vincenza ti chiede il colore terra d'ombra monica no questo mm -hmm. diciamo, sì, uh, sì, è terra d'ombra sì. terra d'ombra poco a little bit So you say that she found out that uh, we have a stencil in Stamperia that is uh, with music notes. And it, she said, she suggests that for this project, it will be amazing. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yes, why not? Yes. We always say that we give some uh, ideas. Then you have to personalize and do your own. And, and of course, make something that is really you. Yes. Right. Thank you. Okay. Comments. So we have the two shoes. One will be like this, and the other one will be like this. There we go. Then we have the ribbon. The ribbon, I will use the same paste as before. The ancient, the, the ancient pink, like a color. So I will use on the ribbon. Like it. Color, qué color bonito que tiene esta pasta. Esta es bonita, esta. Se puede utilizar como una pintura. Ah, pincel. Así sí. como una. Como una pintura. Aquí con la espátula, aquí con el, pin, con el cepillo, el pincel. Sí. So the glamour paste can be used or in a thick layer on the spatula to give uh, texture and shape. But as you can see now, as the colors with the brush, Anyway, all is always a water-based product, so it's very nice. Mm, it's a good idea. Vincenza dice che inizia a riconoscere tutti i colori. Brava, Vincenza. Eh sì. Ok, quasi colorato il ribbon. Pero ahora tengo que poner un poco de marrón, un poco más oscuro. El bruno, que es un poco más oscuro. Okay. Con color, no. Un little bit. 
to make uh, the shape uh, more of the ribbon. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. So this way of using the balls will be a little bit more shabby style, more less, I mean, uh, less uh, flat, uh, less shiny. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes, yes. Very. As always with Monica. <laughs> no doubt. Okay, I will tell you about it. Okay. This. So, okay, yeah, I'm going to force it. Okay, I will glue everything with the, um, with the extra strong glue, of course, because it is, uh, um, it's not so easy to glue with the, um, I mean, with the um, hot glue when you have something which is not completely dry. So I will with the extra strong blue. Question from Cindy. Could you use the pigment powder also? Pigment, yes, why not? Yes. The uh, the pigment, uh, the glamour pigment, well yes, it's a good idea. Why not? We'll open it. Okay. So a good drop of this. Here and here of extra strong glue, and I will put my shoe here and one here. Okay, and then let's take a small ribbon for the shoes. I found the same color, and mm -hmm. <laughs> put on the shoes. Right here. Let's uh -huh. oh. Sandra dice, oh, Mark. Entra un poco tarde. Pregunta, ¿las zapatillas están hechas con pasta? No, Sandra. El, el, ¿Tiene el molde cerca? ¿Tenéis el molde cerca, Mónica? Sí, está... Está aquí. Ok, el molde está eh, casi listo. Ah, casi listo, mira, mira. Está listo. Eh. Entonces, Sandra, esto es el, el principio. Arrancamos de aquí, de su molde con pulvo cerámico. Y después Mónica la ha eh, roto, eh, limado, <ríe> un montón de cosas. La ha forrado con, con otra, otro papel de algodón. Y después con papel de arroz, y esto es el punto donde está tu poder. Okay. Okay. So this is the difference of the effect because actually here I didn't put anything here, of course. Yeah. So here is only the plaster. I take away this part because it's not completely flat. I do a sculpture, Monica. Sei una scultrice, anche. Ti vedo pratica. Esta vez es la primera vez que soy scultrice. <laughs> Ahora vamos a poner aquí. Todas, oh, Simónica. She's a sculptor, she's a painter. <laughs> I color with the acrylic brown now with water on the sides. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah, viene, viene. Sandra, muy bien. Siempre, cuando hay preguntas o 
duda, siempre aquí estamos. Ok, now I take white color. Put on the surface with a sponge brush. A little bit of white. Atelier Pinturitas, hermoso proyecto en México. ¿Dónde puedo conseguir, conseguir sus productos? Mm. Ahora vamos, Blanche, sí, es de México, sí, nos puedes ayudar en esos. Pero eh, puedes siempre eh, escribir un correo electrónico a estampería. Para mí. Un poco de marrón aquí también. Aquí. Uh -huh. Aquí. Exacto, Blanche. <risa> en México <risa> conmigo. <risa> Por supuesto. Mira, entonces, puede contactar a Blanche y te va a dar todos los productos de estampería. Muchas gracias. Una vez más. <risa> <risa> Okay, I'm painting the white, uh, the wooden spaces with a little bit of brown. Brown. Tenemos otro comentario. Mira, gracias, Mónica, por tanta belleza. Saludos desde México, Lucy. Muchas gracias. Gracias uh, a ustedes. <laughs> okay. Blanco. La Pepi dice, vamos con la lluvia de corazón. Y aquí, aquí estamos todos, todas, con la lluvia de corazones ahora. El blanco ahora para hacer un poco de luz. Okay. Me tomo en el pelo por, por mi español, aquí, aquí. No digo quién, no digo, no le puedo decir quién, pero me están tomando. <risa> ok, I'm painting some black, white here. Mary, hello Mary, this is so feminine and dainty. Beautiful, thanks Monica. And Omar, thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. La Georgia, un capolavoro. Grazie, cuori, giunto cuori. Rosario, cuori, corazones. I always like to retouch a little bit of paper somewhere. And here. Okay, so the dancers' shoes are quite ready. Yeah? My dream of becoming a dancer, <laughs> I always find. <laughs> try to do but this is the artist we live we make real what is not real <laughs> right <laughs> we connect to what was with what art not... when the dreams come true right. right it's a part of us anyway yes exactly okay so here a bit more shadows Little bit of shadows, and here we are. I think we are quite, quite ready. Okay, let's go to dance with no shoes. <laughs> let's go dance. Tell me, let's go dance. <laughs> okay. Here we are. I think I am at the point now. Okay. Of course, we have to make some other touches but mostly are most of them are made <laughs> exactly so you can go you know either of them again no bravo digo i need a little brush here okay so i think i am Mm 
we have to learn our we are our dreams come true so i think i made <laughs> thank you grazie letizia <laughs> I still have to make some touches, but I think most of it is made. So we can take also out uh, the, uh, the mold, I think. Here it is. You see? So very, very softly. You must press here where is the shoes are. A little bit uh, coming out. I don't want to break them. So, okay, here it is. You see? <laughs> you see? And it's it's uh, 40 minutes that we make it, so it's ready now to be painted. Exactly. And it's still a little bit grayish. You see the difference when it is dry, yeah? so we <laughs> do have the difference here. But, okay. So now uh, I think I am. So I don't know if you have any questions about it, friends. Uh, what do you think? So should I add or change something? Vincenzo Chiare said, già secco. Eh, quasi, almost ready. It's, it's yeah. quasi secco. Questo? This is dry. Yes. Dry. Of course, it needs a little bit longer to be completely dry. But you can color it, no problem. So you see the difference if you color something uh, in a plaster, and if you cover first and made it a little bit more the style of, in the shabby style. So sorry, but my <laughs> my daughters came back from school. They are making noise. No, no. <laughs> Poi, viva la mamma, e, e ancora di più, la mamma artista. <laughs> okay. And I... Fortunata, sono. Okay. Okay. Adding a few other touches here on the ribbon. I, it should be dry to make it, but... Okay, I try to make my best. Giorgia ti chiede, ma la ballerina anche è fatta con la ceramica? Sì, è fatta con il gesso ceramico, sì, uguale. Però è eh, più asciutta, quindi è più bianca perché è più asciutta. Quindi più lo lasciate asciugare e più diventa bianco. Effettivamente questo invece è più fresco e quindi il colore è un po' più eh, grigio. I don't know if you have any questions, friends, about uh, the work of today or whatever concerning this uh, kind of products. Just ask me. Please let us know if you have any question about Let's the see. technique we learned today. Let's see the other, maybe the other uh, comments. Uh, if you can, just tell me. So, this is actually the work. Uh, not so dry, but okay, it is <laughs> a bit more. Ah, it's not dry at all, <laughs> so it needs a little bit longer to be dry, but I can keep it. Okay, let's keep it like this. Okay, so let's see. Nice. So, <laughs> Also, the other project. So Anna says, you left me curious. Could you just explain what you did in the other project too? Uh, which one, Anna? Which one you mean? Uh, the one you showed at the beginning, I guess. The one, the first one. Ah, yes. Uh, here. So this is very, very easy to make, uh, quite quick. Actually, what you need to do here is only to cut out from, this is a paper, from a piece of paper from the album Passion. So you cut out this part and you cut out also the shoes, but not completely because you see, <laughs> it is not completely cut out. And then only the shoes are covered with the, the shiny uh, extra gloss finish. Extra gloss finish which I, that I did not hear about somewhere. So here, the extra gloss finish here, and then on this surface, I, it's cardboard. It's worked like a wood. So 
I made uh, uh, the slides with the spatula and the modeling paste, uh, and this is a stencil. And then I colored with acrylics, uh, very watery colors, and then whitened with uh, the brush at the end. So this is only a piece of uh, scrapbooking paper. All it is. <laughs> One card. Quando ci rivediamo con un altro bellissimo progetto come questo, Giorgia, già sabato, Monica Paluta torna live con Donatella Russo. Quindi insieme, wow, on Saturday, Monica and Donatella live together. Sabato, surprise, surprise. We will make it together a different but similar project. <laughs> Però sempre dare un occhio alla pagina di stamperia per sapere tutti gli appuntamenti live. Always take a look to the uh, stamperia page to know what is going on in the live of stamperia. Quindi, so Monica, io intanto it's vedo... It's a nice place, Omar. Uh, it's very easy. Yeah. This is what I made. <laughs> it was what Please show us the cool. necklace. So the necklace is made with the die cuts, the ones with, which are um, on the transparent... Uh, plexi uh, um, paper so it's already shiny i only had to make the holes uh, and connect it uh, to the necklace so it's a very very easy <laughs> but uh, quickly we will make uh, a lesson uh, live uh, with my friend grazia who is very <laughs> good in making jewels so we will make and work together you will see super things <laughs> so oh, yeah be very very uh, particular uh, a new lesson uh, thank you crystal grazie yeah. giorgia la giorgia ogni giorno una dragata <laughs> una dragata di arte viva viva <laughs> questa oh, the necklace is amazing yeah so today we made uh, plenty of shoes <laughs> plenty of shoes And I remember that we, uh, we um, now, the Raku style course from Monica Paduta is available on the e Academy. And uh, yeah, check it out. So uh, you can have a, a private masterclass with Monica, contact Monica, or uh, the course is already available in the Stamperia e Academy. If you need the tutorial, the tutorial is very step by step from the beginning till the end. So the tutorial will be good as well to make, uh, to understand the technique and practice the technique. And then you can learn the technique and then you can apply it to other objects, like as, as you have on your, uh, on, on your background, you can make bases, you can make, we already discovered a little bit of this Atraco technique, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> show me, show me. So from the beginning, Till the end, we will uh, know how to make uh, el, el curso. Vamos a explicar en inglés, en español, en italiano, um, cómo hacer este proyecto, esta raco, esta técnica japonesa. Y hablando de Japón, mañana estaremos live con Anthony's Sanidakis Sir Vagabond Japan Collection. Tomorrow live with Giovanni at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. for the these new items the new uh, survival collection we have to remember yes yes of course thank you so much mira los corazón baby gracias baby gracias a todas gracias por las producciones de de blanche merci a usia la Giorgia che ti ricorda del tappo Giorgia mi raccomando è live every day to remember to our artist to, to, to show the product thank you so much Cindy and I leave you with, with the trailer of the Monica the new Monica course so you can check it out and text Monica to say I want to make the courses okay okay great thank Come you so Monica. much many kisses <laughs> ciao ciao, ciao. ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao.
sono Monica Paruta e vi presento il mio nuovo video tutorial Raku Style, una tecnica nuova che imita la tecnica del Raku classica delle ceramiche ma fatta con altri materiali. Per realizzare una ciotola come questa, ma con la stessa tecnica, potrete realizzare anche delle tele e dei gioielli. Le spiegazioni sono in italiano, in inglese e in spagnolo. Hello, this is Monica Paruta and this is my new video tutorial, Rocco Style, a new technique which imitates uh, the classical uh, technique for Rocco uh, in order to make a bowl like this one. And with the same technique you can make also canvases uh, or jewels with explanations in Italian, English and Spanish. Hola, soy Monica Paruta. Esto es mi nuevo video tutorial para hacer la técnica, imitación de la técnica del raku para hacer un cuenco como esto. Con la misma técnica pueden hacer también lienzos y joyas como estos. Las explicaciones serán en italiano, inglés y español. Hasta luego.